What happened down the stretch? I mean, you mentioned it was a tie game late. Obviously, you don't have Draymond, but just what did you see? Yeah, I thought we were uh, we we were competing. We were, um, you know, we hit some some big shots. Gary hits the corner three to tie it. Um, you know, I think Clay hit a big one on the wing. Um, but they they played better than we did down the stretch. I thought uh, they were more physical tonight. Um, they, it was an incredibly physical game. Um, really, really, um, you know, a lot of. Uh, a lot of physicality, not not much movement, not much freedom of movement out there. So uh, they were the aggressors, and I thought, um, you know, they they benefited from being the aggressors. We've talked a lot about how the Kings and you guys both like to play quick. Just what have you made of the pace of this series um, so far? Well, tonight was obviously slower than game one. Um, you know, as I said, the game got much more physical early. I thought there could have been uh, 10 fouls called in the first three minutes, um, you know, five on each team. And um, so you, you that's what that's how you have to adapt in the playoffs. Um, they, they, they established they weren't going to call much. And, um, you know, I, I, we played a really good first quarter. We held them to 17 points, um, but we couldn't sustain it. And the uh, game got away from us there in the second quarter, and then they, they kind of controlled things from there. But as I said, I'm really proud of the effort um, to, to fight back and give ourselves a chance uh, to win. We just didn't have enough. And historically, I mean, you guys have always been a team that you try and speed up the series, right? Maybe other teams aren't as quick, but you really want to push the pace. Have you ever faced a team in your you know memory that can match you guys right there with just quickness? Uh, we, we've played so many teams over the years in the playoffs, and we've we've seen a lot of different styles. So um, I'm not going to go into my history book right now. i got other things on my mind. But uh, the playoffs are, are filled with, with challenges. Every team you play is going to be a great team. Uh, obviously, you know, Sacramento is, has had a hell of a year for a reason. Um, I thought they played great defense tonight. So that's you know, this is just about giving them credit. Steve, you talked all, often all season about fouls, mm -hmm. defending without fouling. Mm -hmm. How much of a factor has that been the two games, and what can you do to Turn that around. Well, like I said, the, fir the first um, first half there were hardly any fouls called, and uh, second half they, there were more more called. And I think we had five in the first uh, two minutes of the third quarter, which which hurt us. But um, you know, like I said, you have to adapt um, to the way the game is being called. And um, I thought we um, you know we we had uh, a few too many. Uh, reaches and holds and and you know plays that we might have been able to avoid, but there, there was it was also an incredibly physical game, as I said. Steve, Steve, you didn't play Jordan or Dante in the fourth quarter. Didn't take, play Kaminga the entire second half. Was that production based or was that something of a plan? You were going to basically go with no. Five it wasn't or wasn't the plan. It's just reading the game and um, you know seeing seeing what we needed. Uh, we 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 had to have um, our best defensive lineups out there. Um, in the fourth quarter, that's why Gary and, and Wiggs uh, played quite a bit uh, the entire quarter, and we, you know, we kept uh, Steph and, and Clay out there for most of the quarter. I think Steph played the whole quarter um, because we, you know, we we had to had to have those guys to give us a shot, and uh, so they they got us there. They they gave us a shot. Um, like I said, getting getting to that point even uh, with everything going on, I thought was uh, really impressive, but uh, just didn't have quite enough. You, you also went to Moody. Um, are you seeing this series shifting in a way where you have to go kind of wing heavy? Deep, I mean, kind of a little bit like to answer your question, but is that why Moody was suddenly? Yeah, there? I mean, you know, everything is a balance. Um, you're trying to find the best two-way lineups you can. Uh, so on offense, I felt like we needed a little more spacing. Um, and um, and on defense, you you know they're they're a physical team. We need some physicality. Um, we need some size out there. So I gave Moses a, a crack. I thought I thought he did a really nice job while he was out there. Thanks. Uh, how hard was uh, that impact? Were you surprised that he was uh, on the ground for that long? No, I wasn't surprised that he stayed down that long. You said two times you've been held with Sabonis both times? No, it was Monk last game, uh, right on the baseline under the rim. So either you're going to stop it. Um, John Goble was looking at Monk hold my leg the last game, and he just let it go. And Zach clearly was watching my leg get held this game and let it go. So 
I guess ankle grabbing is okay. How, how would you describe your actions and the crowd's actions after that? You certainly egged them on. Did you feel you needed to respond to them, or were you hearing anything that, that you needed to respond to there? No, I'm just having fun. It's a fun game, fun atmosphere to play in. So um, it's fun. Draymond, you guys have been down 3-1 a couple of times. You've been through just about everything. But you haven't been 0-2 in the series uh, going home. That's exciting, right? <laughs> I was going to ask you what you thought about it. <laughs> A new challenge. Um, you know, <clears throat> after the game, I was actually thinking about that. Like, man, I think this one, this is one we haven't seen yet. And we've conquered all the rest of them. So why not go conquer this one? It'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's good. Draymond, what have you, how would you look at the first two games of the series in terms of the way you guys have played and the way they have played? I mean, what are you seeing? I think we've played pretty, I mean, we've played okay. We haven't played awful, but we definitely haven't played well. And yet, you know, come down last four or five minutes each game and you got a chance to win the game. Uh, so all things considered, um, I like where we are. Uh, we just got to down the stretch, uh, get stops, and, and convert on the offensive end. But get yourself a chance to win. That's all you can ask for. And we've did that twice. So, like it. What, what have they done to make it so hard? Uh, well, they've made shots. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> they put a lot of pressure on our defense. And, you know, they didn't, they didn't particularly shoot the ball well all night, but they've made shots down the stretch. So... Got to give those guys some credit. Um, but there's a lot of things we can clean up. Yeah. Draymond, you guys had 22 turnovers tonight. A lot of them were unforced. How can you clean that up? Uh, you just got to take the, uh, accept the pressure um, and then go to your counters if the initial action isn't there. And I think a lot of times, and myself included, you're just trying to force it, you know, and, and getting a little sped up. So just can't get sped up. We know what we're trying to get to. You got to be patient. Um, Handle the pressure, and then you know if you do handle when we handle the pressure, everything opens up, and so uh, we just gotta handle the pressure better initially. And I think that starts at the beginning of the game. And if I'm not mistaken, I've started two games in a row with a turnover, and so that sets the tone. I have to be better there. Um, lastly, a kind of a big picture look at this. Do you get any sort of a, a Warriors 2014, 2015 vibe with these Kings in terms of the <clears throat> and they're trying to trying to climb the mountain kind of thing? Uh, I mean, I think we can say that every year about another team, right? Last year is Memphis. This year is them. Uh, you know, when you've had the success that we had, uh, we have had, um, you're always going to get those comparisons, but it's hard to do, um, you know, what we've done. So kind of relax a little bit on the comparisons. I said, I kind of relax. Now you have to relax. I kind of, I said, I kind of relax on the, on the comparisons. Draymond, uh, put, putting the Sabonis incident aside, Steve mentioned this game has been very physical. How would you assess your team has been matching the physicality of the facts? I think at times we've matched the physicality. At times we've been the aggressor, and then there are but too many times where we haven't. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of figuring it out as well. You know, team gets physical, you get physical back, you get a foul call, trying to figure that out as well. So, um, you know, overall – Done okay, but not to the level you need to be to win playoff games. Draymond, the fourth quarter was all the veterans, I guess, except for when Moody came in a little bit for Wiggins. No pool, no Dante even. Kaminga didn't play in the second half. Where do you see kind of those young guys? I mean, are you expecting more from them? Do you see something in them that, that you can get more from them? Um, it's, it's different. Uh, it's different brand of basketball in the playoffs. So we know all those guys are more than capable. Um, you know, we, we know what Jordan is capable of. We know what Dante is capable of. Uh, we know what J.K. is capable of. So just got to stay ready. Uh, games take turns, and coaches have to make decisions uh, based upon how they feel the game is going. And, you know, it happens every year, um, but you got to stay ready. And you know, I know those guys will. 
Draymond, there's always been the feeling that things would be different once the playoffs start, but it seems like some of the issues you're dealing with are the same as from the regular season, turnovers, fouling on defense. Is, there, is it hard to break, break out of issues that have, have you know? I mean, I think I told you all in the, in the regular season, you just don't flip a switch. Your issues are your issues, and you have to work through them and figure them out. Um, so, you know, we can – gave up 29 free throws – Number realistically probably should be a little closer to 20, um, but it's not. So just got to figure it out. How do you fix the ball? Uh, we have to be better at the point of attack. That's guards who's guarding the ball. That's bigs who's in coverage. You have to be better at the point of attack. Once your defense is compromised, that's when you get fouls. Right, two more, Dalton and then Anthony. Draymond, uh, Steph didn't take a shot in the third quarter until about three and a half minutes left. But obviously being very physical with him. As an initiator, how do you think you guys can best get him going earlier? Um, I don't know. We have to figure that out. Uh, that's something that we need to go watch on the film. Uh, try to figure out how we can release the pressure some. Um, you know, and what other guys can do behind the play when he does get off the ball. So we'll figure it out over the next couple of days, make our adjustments, and come ready to play in game three. After you get ejected, do you like do you go to back and watch the game? How does like the final six minutes go for you? Uh, sometimes I watch, sometimes I don't. Do you watch tonight? Uh, lift some weights, get stronger. That's fine. I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. Uh, I watch here, watch there, but. I, I partly ask because this is two straight games. That, you know, you mentioned you're close late, but you know they've closed better than you guys. Um, you know what? What do you think? going on down the stretch. I know you uh, know. Fox has made plays. You got to give Fox a lot of credit, but that's who he is. You know, he's up for a clutch award for a reason. Uh, that's who he is. So um, <clears throat> I don't think it's been a scoring issue. I think we've scored down the stretch. We just haven't gotten stops. So I think it's a defensive issue. Great, thank you. We'll have Clay, I know all years are different, but you guys have never been down 2-0 in a playoff series. Does that hit? Uh, and what do you think the significance of that is just for this series? Uh, I mean, yeah, unfamiliar territory, but we've been down 3-1. We've been up 3-1. We've been through everything. So we rely on our experience, and we take a great off day tomorrow, and we recollect ourselves and do what we do, and that's play well at home always. Clay, what do you think it is about the Kings that are <clears throat> that's giving you guys the most trouble on defense, I mean, obviously, number one. Yeah, uh, they're switching a lot of screens and they're making us play along the perimeter. We didn't really get to the rim as much as they did. So uh, I think being back home will help us in that regard as far as just feeding off the crowd and being aggressive and not settling for um, as many outside shots. But uh, we uh, had two chances to win. Uh, these games, so we're not discouraged. We know we can go home and protect home court and give ourselves another opportunity to win here. What did you think about the physicality of the game tonight? It was physical. That's what we expected. Um, that's what makes it the NBA playoffs. That's what makes it fun. It's better that than all the flopping that we've been seeing uh, some past years. So. Uh, we don't mind when it's a physical game. Clay, you and Draymond both in Portland were talking about how different the playoffs are and things mm -hmm. sort of start fresh. But how hard is it to shake some of the issues that you guys have had through the regular season, specifically turnovers and, and fouls on defense, um, things that Steve talked about a lot, but it seemed to be mm -hmm. still be a, an issue? Um, the beautiful part is we have another opportunity Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure when the game is. Thursday. so. Although it's been ugly first couple games as far as fouling and turnovers, um, we can bounce back in a great way, and I know we will. Even with you know some of the physicality, physicality turnovers, fouling, I mean, what do you make of the pace and just how both teams like like to push it and transition so much? I mean, they're a very athletic young team, and we have great athletes as well, and uh, we play very well in transition. Um, they do too, so it makes for a fun matchup, and it's the way you want to play basketball. It's just up and down, so we uh, will be better 
in that regard as far as taking care of the ball and getting more transition opportunities at home. I, I just know we will. Clay, uh, Tony Harvey, ESPN, NBC Sports Radio. Uh, Coach Kerr said the other day, he's, there's really no pressure on you guys. Uh, maybe if it was you were down 3-0. What's, what's your thoughts right now? you feel any pressure, you know, being down 0-2 right now, going back to San Francisco? Um, no. I don't feel pressure. I just see an opportunity for us to go home and protect our home court and uh, make adjustments. I mean, like I've said before, we've been through it all, so we're not accustomed to hitting the panic button. We, uh, you know, lost a 73-win season, so we know what it's like to deal with that pressure and outside noise. It's nothing new. To, it just comes with being an NBA player. Playing the fourth quarter. I think you played the whole fourth quarter. Steph played the whole fourth quarter. Was it where you guys were really leaning on? Obviously, Draymond didn't get through the whole fourth quarter, but then some of the younger guys did not play. Uh, can you expect more? Do you do you expect more from Jordan, from Dante, even Kaminga, and do you need more from them? Um, well, Jordan's playing with like half a foot right now, so I was just proud of his resilience. And um, I know J.K. and Dante will have big games for us. Everyone's going to. Uh, Luckily, it's first to four. It's not the old format where it's first to three. That would be a, not so much fun. But um, we all have off nights. I've had bad shooting nights in the first round in the finals in the Olympics. So um, I just love those guys, and I know they'll bounce back. I mean, you know, we have a great opportunity ahead of us. I know we're going to right the ship. What do you think needs to change for you guys to put yourself in just better positions down the stretch to be able to close out games? Uh, make more shots. Attack the rim and um, rebound. Those three things are vital to success going forward. Clay, what was your view of the Draymond Sabonis incident uh, and just the, the, the way the crowd was getting into it. Draymond obviously was, was egging them on. Did that change anything? Did they change anything, the dynamic? I mean, what are you going to do when someone grabs your foot when you're running full speed? Like, that's a dirty, I just fully grabs your foot and yanks on you. That's not cool, man. I'm not saying what Draymond did was right, but like, you can't just grab somebody's foot when they're taking off in a full sprint. That's not that's not cool. I don't do that. Like we are, I mean, that's crazy. Cool. Great. Fate in the series, and you know, I like I like our ability to lock in on that and try to get off to a good start at home in game three. Step up, Tony Harvey, NBC Sports Radio. Um, De'Aaron Fox, um, of course, you know, this is the first time, you know, being on a big stage like this, and you've been through it, you know, so many times. Uh, just want to get your thoughts on, and it's still a young series uh, with two more games, you know, going back to San Francisco. Just want to get your uh, thoughts on uh, what he's doing and what he has done for this organization since he's been here. Um, I just continue to get better every year and put themselves in a position to be a playoff team after that long drought. And He's just, you know extremely talented. He's quick. He puts pressure on you every possession. Uh, he knows his strengths and he tries to use them. So uh, I think he's playing with a lot of confidence, and you know he's been doing that all year. So it, it's what we expected, but you know again we still uh, kind of understand what it's going to take to turn this series in our favor, man. But we know we're gonna to have to play great to beat it. And you know, they're a great team. He's uh, he's been a, a big catalyst for that all year. So it's no surprises. It's just a matter of can we can we slow it down? How physical was this game compared to your average playoff game? Uh, I think early it was they were kind of letting us play all over the place, and then it kind of tightened up a little bit in the second half. Um, We've been through all type of scenarios. I think the biggest thing for 
any team going into a game is just make make sure it's consistent on both ends um, so that you know what's going to be allowed and what's not. And I think for the most part, it was it was pretty solid. Um, and again, like that brings <clears throat> that competitive fight out of us that we've shown plenty of times and you know, while we had a chance to win it down the stretch. But, you know, from game to game, just feeling it out, trying to figure out how we can, you know, be the most effective out there and know how the game's being called. And we know they're 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 trying to be physical, especially on the perimeter, you know, to, to try to take us out of our sets and our patterns and all that. So we gotta be able to respond. As you said, you've been you've seen a lot, been through a lot of different scenarios uh, throughout all these playoff series you've been a part of though. Have you guys have always been a team that likes to speed up your opponent where they might like to play a little bit slower, not as quick as you guys. What do you just think of the pace of both of these teams and how that's kind of playing out, how that combats each other? I think we, we both like to play fast. We both, uh, it's kind of our sweet spot. I think mean, we're a little bit more predicated on ball movement and player movement than they are, but you know they have a lot of athletes, especially you know D. Fox, Monk, with the ball in their hands. They put a lot of pressure when you're at the point of attack. So. You have to have five guys, you know, locked in on that. I think we've been able to hold up over the course of 48 pretty well, you know, not letting, getting fatigued or feeling like, you know, I, I feel like we've gotten stronger as the game has gone on. Just got to be able to get out to a little bit better start you know, in terms of not, you know, playing fast but not in a hurry. That's the that's the line that, that we, we try to find that sweet spot and that balance, um, especially with the way that they're guarding us. You, you got to – have some counters to their pressure because uh, they are you know, trying to extend their defense out and playing fast into that sometimes can get you in a little bit of a rush. Steph, did you know you were going to play the whole fourth quarter up your minutes in this game? Did Steve tell you that or was that kind of on the fly? It was on the fly, but I assume when I started that knowing we were down whatever it was, the, uh, I was going to be able to finish, and I felt fine. So, see how that goes the rest of the series. And then also, yeah, Jordan didn't play in the fourth. Don didn't play in the fourth. Kaminga didn't play in that this whole second half. Do you, you know, do you need more production? Do you see that coming? Maybe coming at home. Uh, how have you seen kind of the younger players uh, produce in these first two games? Um, I mean, the way that we played all year has been a little bit of kind of different you know, rotations getting out there and, and trying different things. It's part of how we're built because we have so many options uh, based on looks, based on you know what the other team's doing. Uh, and our biggest challenge is for everybody to just stay locked in mentally on what you're asked to do when you're out there and not get deflated if it's not your not your night or not your turn. Um, I know it's really hard to do. It's everybody wants to be out there. Everybody wants to play. Um, but you know, things change really quickly in a series, and if you, you miss that moment because you kind of give in to the frustrations or whatever that is, that's uh, that's the hard part. That, that's the challenge. So and those guys have been productive all year, have helped us win um, some big games, and I, I expect you know whoever's out there to 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 contribute, especially like you said when we come when we go home to to find some momentum and some life and. And give ourselves uh, a, a chance in the series. Great, thank you.